Welcome back to Cleveland. I have my dear friend Lou McClung here with me today. He is a fabulous makeup artist right here in Lakewood, Ohio, who creates his entire line from scratch. This man is a genius. So Luso Cosmetics is the line, and today we have Catherine joining us because he is taking us back to basics. And I love this idea, and I know it all begins with our foundation. It really our does. Base. So 21 years of having my company now, I get to spend a lot of time with people and, it, and I get to hear what their needs are. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that people are afraid of is foundation because they've had a bad experience at some point. So I wanna give some tips, we're gonna start with that and then work our way into some other things. Okay. So one of the big things with foundation is first of all, if you go to the store and you can't try it on, don't buy it because you really need to see what the texture's like. If your makeup looks good in natural light, it's gonna look good anywhere. So true. Correct. And I think a lot of people, they're afraid, they will, they'll buy something the first time they see it. I like getting samples everywhere just to be safe yeah. because you, you don't know. I mean, it could affect your skin in certain ways. Mm -hmm. So you, you always have to be thinking of that first before you just go yeah, and, and spend money. Yeah, and even just for the shade. If the shade doesn't match, then it's not going to suit you in any way. The worst is when the face and the neck yeah, and thanks, don't work. <laughs> and thank you for bringing that up. So what you want to do with your foundation is you always want to make sure that you test it on your jawline. Okay, so this is where we should stop our makeup. Some people will use a darker shade and bring it into their neck and it looks really bad. So um, that's an important part of it. Mm -hmm. And I wanna show you this technique that I'm doing too. So what I do is I take some foundation and I put it on my hand okay. first, okay? And then I take the sponge, I love sponges, always have. And then I do this method called stippling. So see, as I move the sponge around, I'm going in an up and down motion. This allows you to actually get more coverage out of your foundation. And so you can see it there, it's very effective. And in and, and doing something like that, I, it's, I feel like it's absolutely important because the blending in, I, I like the stippling because I feel like you don't see, sometimes you'll see lines in certain places right. when, when the foundation is not blended in mm -hmm. well enough. So using something like a sponge and doing that stippling effect, I feel like it gets in all the little crevices. Yeah, and one of the great things about our formula, it's 60% water. So it's very, very lightweight and people really enjoy that. Also, you wanna have a foundation that's buildable, which means if you have an area where you need extra coverage, after it dries, you can actually go back over it and apply more. And it's not gonna get too dry or too caked? Correct. Okay. Again, if you follow those methods, it really helps a ton. So the next thing that a lot of people are afraid of is concealer, mm -hmm. and it's very, very important. I personally like to put it on, maybe look up now. I personally like to put it on bef after the foundation and not before, but if you put it on before, it's not wrong. It just depends on what people really, really like. Now, one of the tips to a foundation when you're using a thicker formula is to take a little bit and actually move it around on your hand. Once you've done that, it warms up the product, so it's the temperature of your skin, so then it's gonna apply better. And I like to use the brush, and brush it all in and then after I brush I'm gonna go back with the sponge and actually blend that in. Now as you're doing this I know that it's also extremely important to add once you finish the concealer because I feel like that can, that can conceal so much dark spots or uh, just the bags under your eyes too at times it helps to brighten things but you need the powder to set things. Correct so that's the next step we're gonna do and I'm actually just gonna use a clean uh, sponge like mm -hmm. I did for the foundation. Okay, now here's a good tip for you guys. What you do first is you blot the powder off on the cheek. Okay, look up, and then you go underneath the eyes. And this helps you not to use so much because women really care, <clears throat> excuse me, especially as we get older, they really care about the texture underneath the eyes because powder could show off the lines. But we've had, seen a lot of concealers in the past now that actually have little sparkles in them. They talk about how it reflects light. I don't find that effective at all because when you have all this shininess around there, it shows the bags off even more. So you, you're saying matte, <clears throat> always matte, just a, a nice finishing powder. Correct. So Something that, that is really, really milled well. So we actually make the powder for older skin and that's a really, really important part. So here's the thing, Luke can help you. You can go to his location there, he's right on Madison Avenue in Lakewood. Uh, you can go there, you can go and take anyone back to basics, but from top to bottom, from your shadow to your lip liner to your lipstick, He'll go through the whole process with you. Uh, he has everything right there in his location where you can purchase everything. Do then. we have a sec for the before? Oh, I'm sure <laughs> that we were showing it. I, oh, were we so showing we it? Okay, great. We don't have any monitors here. Okay, great. <laughs> we can't see, okay. but I believe they were showing it. But if we could show it one more time then, and then the before and after, I mean, it's it's night and day. You, it shows how important it is, no matter how amazing your skin is, to have that coverage. I absolutely agree. Well, there you go. Go check out Lou and visit his uh, wonderful spot again, Lusso Cosmetics in Lakewood.
You look fabulous, though. You really you do. She always does, though, too. We'll be back with more New Day Cleveland after this. Thanks, Lou. Thanks for having us.